I'm not surprised that like you're so intuitive and you're so aware of yeah. life and the circumstances. Because I think most people don't give the millennials credit. They think like, oh, they're all about nonsense or whatever. But I find that when you sit and you have a conversation with a lot of the millennials, they're very intuitive and they're yeah. very intelligent. The problem is that they all deal with their problems the same way. Same way. So how do you not deal with the same way? How do you not end up like X? How do you not end up like Peep? How do you, like... You learn from people's mistakes. Um, you learn from people's downfalls. That's the only reason why I used to like history. Like, the class history, mm -hmm. like, social studies and all that, because you're talking about empires falling and people getting slaughtered and people taking over other people's land and you learn from other people's mistakes. You see what people was lacking at, people was slipping at. You learn from their mistakes. So I think I think that's another reason why I know what I know now is because that's how I always looked at life. Learning from learning from my own mistakes, learning from other people's mistakes. You can save a lot of pain and struggle by learning from other people's shit, but sometimes you have to learn, you know, from your own mistakes type shit. But seeing other people's mistakes and learning from is two totally different Yeah, things. I see people's mistakes and you saying to yourself, oh, I'm not going to end up like that two months later, two weeks later, whatever the case may be, and you that person versus seeing that shit and you taking it in and 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 um and, and reflecting on other people's shit. That's how you, if you take time out to do that when you see some shit, you will become smarter. Because look, for example, a lot of people seen Peep, Yams, and a lot of people die from lean yeah. and drugs yeah. but they'll still do lean and drugs but look though you gotta look at it like this though coming from somebody that was as in that shit for the niggas that's really doing it it wasn't because of a trend like motherfuckers is really addicted out here like it, it, it wasn't because of like for example my freshman year I ran into some Percocets my freshman year 14, 15 years old 13, 14 whatever the fuck the age is I ran into some Percocets my freshman year Niggas was calling me and my homie Clucks, right? Two years later, three years later, Future dropped 56 Nights. By the way, Future <laughs> is the GOAT. Future dropped 56 Nights. Niggas is hitting my phone like, will you get all them perks from them Zans? Well, like, because of some music. And like I said, I don't know if I said this earlier in here or in some having a convo with somebody else, but hearing that music at such a young age, nigga, I was trying to sip lean in sixth grade. Mm. Listening to Dirty Sprite 1. And, right. and true story. Right. So it's like, there's, it's the people that doing that shit because they like getting high and they going through stuff and they like addicted. Like, and then there's the people that do it for trans. And for the people that's really in the shit, it's not as easy as seeing somebody die and, and, and yeah, and be like, oh my God, that's a wake up call. I'm going to stop. It'll make you think like, damn, I don't want that to happen to me. But at the same time, you already addicted. Your body Still is screaming you. for that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? When, I feel like when people do drugs, it separates their head from their body even more. It separates their soul from their body even more. Because your mind could be telling you, fuck no. Your mind could be telling you, hell no. But um, your body is dependent. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it, it, it could tell you it's apart. It's a battle yeah. between... The mind and the flesh. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it could tell you apart fucking with that shit. Well, I have to, I have to commend you because you like we was talking about smoking black and miles. You know what I'm saying? And cigarettes. Like, what made you decide to kick kick cigarettes? Um, and how did you even start smoking? Smoking cigarettes again because of stress and I'm like my body was calling for something. I didn't know what it was calling for, and I smoked a cigarette one day on some random shit, and it was I'm like, damn, that's what my body was screaming for, and that's like that's a one of the worst vices to have. Mm. And I remember I was just I was out of the country. I was in London and in Berlin. You buy a pack of cigarettes out there. It's a big <laughs> ass note on each side of the pack. This, this will kill you. This will kill you. This will fuck your sperm count up. This will this will kill you. This could cause birth defects. It showed a baby on there with cancer, like a picture of a baby on there wow. with cancer. You get a pack of Newports out here, and like none of that. The bottom of the the back. Fine, 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 like this may cause cancer. Mm -hmm. The ones in Berlin and in Europe, you will get cancer. So at what point do you get help? Regardless um, of why you started it or yeah. how you started at what point do you get help? I feel like that, that's, you get, if you get help yourself, that's some grown man shit. <laughs> you get help yourself, your, your, 
your girlfriend, your mom, whoever don't got to drag you or slap the pills or the cup out your hand, you can help yourself. I feel like you can look in the mirror and call yourself a grown man and be proud. But that's hard. But I feel like most yeah. people, I don't think anybody could really help this. So I think you need a support system, whether that's rehab, yeah. whether that's family. Because you, you need somebody to slap the pills out your hand or yeah, the cup sure. out your hand. Because other than that, anybody will be able to quit. And it's, it's crazy because a lot of people try to understand, but they don't go through it, so they don't get it. That going through that shit alone, man, you will be thinking shit you never thought you would have thought in your life. Mm. Right. Going through shit like that alone make you want to kill yourself. Like wow. real talk. So, so when you when you did this song "Wasted" with Uzi, mm-hmm. how how did that relationship correlate? How did you guys? Uh, like? I just got cool with him over time, and he told me to send him some shit, and I sent him that. He just put a verse on it. So simple. So, yeah. so, so recently, Uzi Uzi was in the Wirefest in London. Huh? And he told his told his fans that we're all going to hell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was tripped out by it. He said he said that he said he's, he did. He's like y'all coming with me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was tripped out by it. Damn, I was a little tripped out by it. I mean, you know, Uzi's different. We all know Uzi's mm-hmm. different. I love Uzi. Yeah, you know, what I mean, regardless of the situation, yeah, he's very, 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 very talented. And he's and he's super passionate about his craft. But I don't know where where do where do you think some of that. That that energy is coming from because he's never said anything like that ever at a show <laughs> that we know of, right? Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, man, it's probably just what was on his mind. Yeah, shit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Needless to say, he's still the homie. Yeah, he's cool <laughs> as hell. <man. laughs> so, uh, as far as like, like I said, your inspiration in music. Like, what would you call your inspiration as far as music? And why you do the music that you do? Uh, it's kind of like my therapy sessions almost. And um, I see the way it helps people through shit, and helps people go through, you know, go through life, and um, brings people together. I'm all about that. So, you know, why not kill three, four birds with one stone? Plus, I'm I've been musically inclined almost all my life. Yeah, tell me about that. Like, you know, what I'm saying piano at a young age. When you start playing piano. Three or four years old. Wow. Mm-hmm. Moms made you do it, or you just yeah just infatuated. But, but after that, even when I got kicked out of lessons, I was cutting up. Um, I was still uh, playing myself, like on YouTube, looking up tutorials and shit. Started playing guitar. I was playing trumpet for school, percussion, it's a lot of different shit. You, you are a very unique yeah. individual, bro. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's 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 almost like. Like, I wish I would have met you when I was in high school just so I could see, like, what was this kid going so through. So he could smoke with you. You know what I'm saying? That too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, like, you know, like, the stories you saying and just uh, you talking to us, like, at a young age, you was, like, kind of, like, just floating and, and, and just doing you and just... What do yeah. people think of you, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, did you get called weirdo? Like, you know what I'm no, saying? I mean, I always had friends. So, like, but even my friends, they knew I was on some different shit. They'd be like, um... They um, they be like, oh, his ass. Like they fuck with me though. They show me respect because of that. They show me respect because of that. So I never really got bullied or nothing. I was still with like with the cool kids. Right. And you said you you love how music brings people together, and mm-hmm. I think now more than ever it does that. Like you'll see kids from all over the place listening to the influences of guys like you, yourself, yeah, Uzi, yeah, and yeah, whoever, yeah. right? But, and sometimes I think more so, like, it, they feel your pain and they've been, or feel your situation, right? Uh-huh. But then you have situ- uh, situations like, you know, where these young kids that are not black go to the shows and, like, when Kendrick had uh, the little girl up there and she sings you know along with... I didn't even watch that video, but I seen it. She He treated her ass, didn't he? In front of everybody, didn't Not kind of... Yes or no? He was basically like, you could rap, but just don't say the N 